these days i see a lot of ladies who have completely forgotten their worth like they don't even remember who they are anymore they put themselves in the relationships where they are not valued where they are treated as trash all in the name of i want to be in a relationship or i want to get married if i let him go who would be with me who would love me what are you saying what are you thinking who told you nobody would love you the way you deserve to be loved who told you you have to settle for that boot of a guy just because you have to be in a relationship or you want to get married who told you it's about material things like it's so funny i don't know how we come about these things in our society but someone has to say something it is eating deep into our roots that i don't know what's going to happen to the next generation of girls growing up because i don't understand where all of this is coming from people take people forget the criteria they're supposed to look at in a man and they're looking at the wrong things they're checking if he has a car or if he has this if he has how don't get me wrong i'm not saying if you're going to marry a guy he should be homeless of course he should have a roof over his head and a source of income to be able to feed himself and you of course you shouldn't go into marriage and starve to death or something my point here is some people look at the material things let me tell you a quick story about myself seven years ago i was going to get married so you know i was working at the time and and I'd broken the news to my colleagues and everyone in the office knew then that the date has been set, my wedding was coming up. So one day, a colleague of mine asked me a question that I would never forget for the rest of my life. Like she asked me, she said, does he have a car? So in my mind, I was thinking for like, for the first few seconds in my mind, I was trying to think i was trying to understand what she meant by does he have a car like is that a criteria for getting married whatever hap what whatever happens to is his attitude good does he have vision is he hard working does he have values is he a good man of all the things you could ask me you're asking me if he has a car actually i did not respond to that question i just smiled but that question stayed with me even till today. Like of all the things, that's to show you the rottenness in our system. Like people are getting the wrong orientation. Why would you think that the, the, criteria, the first thing you want to know about a guy you want to get married to is if he has a car or not? A car that can crash any minute. A car that can get burnt any minute. So if you get married to that guy because he has a car and then the car disappears the next day, then what next? What would you do? Or you get married to him because he has tons of money. He has this, he has that. And then you wake up after three months, the money is gone or there's no money anymore. And you, do, you real, all of a sudden you realize that he's actually a monster. So now what? Please, 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 let's, I don't know, nobody is saying these things. Nobody is actually talking about this. And to me, I feel if we continue like this, the next generation of girls that are going to grow up, especially in my country, is going to be disastrous. Things would happen. In fact, if we're talking about the rate of divorce now, it, we have not even started talking about the, the high rate of divorce. Because honestly, honestly, we need to go back in our own unit, individual unit, societies and start reorientating our girls and letting them know that the value of a man is not about the car he's driving, is not about the tons of money in his account. Look out for what you need to look out for in a man. Know your worth as a lady. Know your worth. I cannot emphasize this enough. Don't get into an entanglement with a criminal all in the name of money. He has money. Don't be with a criminal. In our society today in Nigeria, you hear a lot of things about Yahoo boys, you know. It has almost, almost, almost as if it's a normal thing right now. Recently, I was having a conversation with a friend and then he's like, in the town where he resides right now, if you're not a Yahoo boy, the ladies will not listen to you. What they want is a Yahoo boy. In other words, an internet fraudster. 
that is what they want because that is the kind of guy that will be able to sustain their lifestyle, be able to buy them all the iPhones they need, all the human hair they need, all the you know all the mundane things they want. So now the big question is, whatever happens to you as an individual, you as a lady, what happens to you? Like, how on earth do you think that you cannot make money of your own? I'm not even talking about the Yahoo boys or whatever. That is even a story for another day. Because I see the things they do and I see how every now and then in our news channels, you see one girl has been slaughtered, butchered, you know, dissected into different parts all in the name of being used for ritual i see all of that and it makes my heart break but you know what i am not even talking about them i'm talking about you the lady why would you allow yourself to be put in that position who told you you cannot make money of your own who told you you cannot be someone who has worth who told you you cannot have value who told you you cannot make money and become someone very great in your own life who told you that this is not your regular kind of video you know the wendy zeal kind of video where I, this is just me and i am pissed in my spirit i'm like i see a lot of things and i'm like what the heck do you know as a lady, as a girl, you are valuable? You can be anything you want to become in this life. Let me tell you something. God promised us something in the Bible and he says that, For I know the plan I have towards you, plan of good and not of evil, to give you an expected end. In other news, in other words, there is a plan. Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is like a new kind of realization right now. Like there is a plan for your life. There is a reason why you were put here on earth. What are you doing? There is a plan for your life. There is a plan for you to excel. And he made it clear that it is of good and not of bad to give you an expected end. An end that is being expected is a good end. If you have a father, for example, who is very, very wealthy here on earth and then he passes on, is there a way he's going to leave you empty handed? So I'm telling you right now that God himself is saying that I have a plan for you, a plan of good and not of bad to give you an expected end. And yet you allow yourself to be mistreated by these criminals. To become a punching bag by this good for nothing guys so i don't know who this video is meant for i don't know who needs to hear this but if you're that one person that needs to hear this please what i'm asking you is go back on your knees and ask god the creator of the universe find out what the plan is because he's saying that there is a plan for your life in other words, nobody is put here on earth empty-handed. He has given us something. What is that thing? Because when you find out what the plan is, your life will never remain the same anymore. The day you find out what the plan is, the day you find out what that reason is for why you are here on earth, in other words, the day you find out your purpose, that's it. You begin to shine and blossom. I've never seen a man or a woman who lives in his or her purpose and is unhappy and is crunchy and is brutal. They are all happy people. Guess what? Because they are living in their purpose for which they are here on earth. God has put each and every one of us here for a reason. How beautiful will this world be if each and every one of us discovers his purpose and lives in them. Do you know how beautiful this world will be? Our God is not an author of confusion. Our God is not a directionless God. He knows what he is doing. Before he formed the human being, he already made the universe. Because before he formed us, he already had, he already put a plan, he already put a place where we're going to dwell and effort. Everything is already set. He is a perfect God. What is a plan? 
I just remembered my biology teacher then in secondary school. <laughs> so funny, very, very funny man. How he would explain the reproductive system in human. Like the way he would so much narrate the story. When he gets to that part when he'd be like, sperm cells have been released and it's not just one. Millions of them and they are on a race. Every one of them is running. Just to meet, just to get to the final line. And at the end of the day, it's just one that will get to the final line. And then get fertilized, become a fetus, and eventually become a human being and be born to this world. So from the beginning of your life, before your daddy even met your mommy, there is already a race to be won. And then you won that race. And here you are, here on earth, and you're selling yourself short, not knowing your worth. Find out what the plan is. Know your worth in a relationship. When a woman knows her worth, she's not going to date just any guy. She's not going to date a guy because he has a car, he has a Ferrari, he has a Mercedes, he has these, he has a Tesla and whatever. She's going to date him because she sees value, because she sees vision, because she knows that this guy has foresight. Because she knows that the guy is getting somewhere. And most importantly, because she knows that she is not empty. She's not going into that relationship very empty, depending on a guy to feed you, depending on a guy to... I mean, you meet a guy today, you go out today or you go out tomorrow, and after two days, you're calling him on phone, please, my fridge is empty, I don't have food. Or... And my birthday is coming up, please plan it for me, I need to celebrate it. Or the next thing is, my phone has gone bad, please buy me a phone. Why do you want to appear so needy? Whatever happens to taking care of your end, whatever happens to taking care of yourself, what is your worth? Where have you left your worth? Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying a sensible man that finds a woman he loves and cherishes. There is no question about that. He's going to take care of her, even if she doesn't ask for it. He's going to give to her, even when she does not ask for it, because that is what a man is meant to do. But when you come and you come on so strong and you're demanding, you're asking, you're, it's almost as if you cannot take care of yourself. Please. You too can be wealthy. You too can be rich. You too will be able to have that life you truly desire. Just find out what the plan is. When you discover the blueprint, follow the blueprint and the destination will be so beautiful. So beautiful. Even God himself said it. His plan for us is to give us an expected end. Any end that has been expected is a beautiful end. So please, I am begging you, if you're that one person that needs to hear this, don't sell yourself short. Don't fall for just anybody all in the name of he has this, he has that. You too can be great. So that's the word I have for today. I pray that this message finds you in peace.